What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and to another video. I'm so glad you guys are here and thank you so so much for all your support on my last video. That meant the world to me and it feels so good to be back and I'm definitely excited to be back. Finally, I get to make another video on this truck because we successfully got a core support and our coolers basically what we need to move forward with the next steps. I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me, show you what we're getting into today. On the agenda is the core support coolers and wiring harness. And hopefully by the end of this video, we will get this truck up and running again. And yeah, super exciting. Before we get into all of this, we have to remove the old wiring harness off of here because we're replacing it and we're gonna get the new one all laid out and kind of ready to go hook a few things up and then go from there We have to cut some of this and some of this off to get that to slide in here. So we have to remove this and try again. Holy, wow. Yeah. 
or touch them down. So we're going to ream those holes out and be able to shift it around how we need to and take it out. I'll cut a little bit more of that off of there. It's in. So we definitely got off to a rough start uh, filling the trans fluid and forgetting the drain plug. We tinkered a little bit with some things and got the truck to start off the key and that was super exciting. That was the whole point in this video and ending this video was to get the truck to start. Basically getting the Ford and Dodge together is the hardest part in this whole project which that was likely. We have a long list of things we still have to do and get for this truck, like drive shaft, we gotta figure out the fuel, and like a bunch of stuff. So you guys will be seeing that very soon. I apologize for how long this has taken, but I have a lot going on, other things um, helping up the value of the house I'm living at, and just a lot of random things. Which brings me to my next thing. I'm really wanting to expand my content and what I post and when I upload, just to make that more consistent, even if it doesn't have to do with the truck stuff. And it could be a number of things. So I just wanna let you guys know, I'm really excited about that nervous still trying to figure out how I want to do it and just wanted to let you guys know if you guys catch a random video that has nothing to do with truck stuff like what the heck that would be why I just want to do more like vlog style things stuff I've been into lately and kind of just yeah other stuff other than this so we can make it more consistent and another thing with staying more consistent and adding more content. I've been tossing around the idea of going live. I think it would be a really fun way to talk and connect with you guys. Just make it like a special little thing, not all the time, but I want to start incorporating that. Let me know down in the comments what you think about that. I obviously haven't been uh, of many words on here and that's for so many reasons and hopefully we can talk about it at some point in time, but I really love doing the truck stuff and creating, fixing things. I'm just hoping that we can keep this going and add some more stuff in. We're gonna have to do an update on the blue truck pretty soon. Everything is running great and feeling great. We're just having some issues with some rust. And it's definitely my fault in how we replace the doors and stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that in a different video. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for sticking around and having patience with me. I hope you enjoyed getting to see this run because we did. That feeling is so good. Okay, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much again, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.